Alright, so today I wanted to talk about uh, run defense in Madden and what a lot of people want to do, what they're tempted to do, and, and what some of the common mistakes are, and talk a little bit about run fits, because I don't think it's a, a very well-known thing about the game, and not many people even know how to see them. Uh, so we'll go over that here, and what I want to do it with is actually with this big nickel package, because it's primarily a pass defense, you know, it's not... You're not putting extra D linemen or extra linebackers on the field, slowing your team down and, and leaving yourself open to getting gashed in the play action. You got your fast players out there. It's just, as we'll see with run fits, um, we'll just have those players in the right spots to make plays. So the first thing I want to talk about is playing zone coverage against the run, because I feel like a lot of people, when they play Madden and they're getting ran on, they have this temptation uh, to kind of switch into like an anti-run or whatever you want to call it like they go into like cover cover one hole or they they go into like edge blitz or you know where it's like a, a single high safety and it's mostly just like blitzing or playing cover one with like man underneath and i'm going to show you why that might not necessarily be what you want to do uh, so here we have a stretch and it's going to the right and we're playing cover two zone against it and the cover two zone is pretty backed off. Uh, so what we're going to do before the ball is snapped is actually check out the run fits and the way you do that is you hold down left trigger and then that is going to show you if you hold down X what the run fits are for uh, X is the left side if they run to the left side and B is the right side, if they run to the right side. So you'll see in cover two, the run fits for cover two are the two middle linebackers are going to shoot down into the center gaps, uh, and then both outside corners are gonna shoot to the outsides if they can. Uh, we'll swap to cover three, and then we'll see it's similar, but this time your two down uh, box safeties or whatever you want to call them the the guys playing your flat zones usually or your underneath zones are the ones in the run fit this is a little better because they're getting involved in the play early and they're going to be able to shoot the gap uh, a lot easier than a cornerback trying to get you know getting bumped by a wide receiver and then getting picked up by a tight end this cover three is better than cover two for a run fit um, but you'll see when i switch to cover four this is actually where it gets interesting because cover four you'll see that the safeties the deep coverage your middle safeties are involved in the run fit both of them no matter which side they run to and for some reason jamal is playing like fairly up close to where he usually plays but you'll see even in uh even in default would you call this base aligned coverage something like this You'll see the run fits don't change. These are just the rules of the coverages. And if you're in cover four and they run, these are the players that will immediately go through gap shooting. And you'll see in this formation, uh, cover four, the only people that will strictly play the pass are your deep outside quarters. Uh, and regardless of what you might think, this is actually a good thing because your corners are never going to bite on play action. They're never going to give up a deep ball for no reason. They're not getting burned in a, in a play art like this. And your safeties, you'll see if I just take my assignment as Brooks and I just shoot the gap. As a user, I'd be trying to make the play myself, but I'll just play ball and go where I'm supposed to go. You can see Zeke is being Zeke there. But in the replay, you'll see something interesting about these middle two safeties is they're both statues. They just stand here and they're waiting to read what this play is. They have not moved. If anything, Quandre's taken a little bit of step and because Jamal uh, is a higher rating, has a little bit higher play recognition and uh, play action, you know, those kind of stats, he's already taking steps closer and closer to the play, whereas Quandre's kind of like waiting to see what's going to go on. But both of these guys are shooting right down literally the second the Zeke gets the ball. You can see Jamal is doing it even before he gets the ball. And they're right down here to make the play. And Quandre, like, really should get the tackle here. But Shaquille kind of shoots in and and takes a block for him. And the, the animation gets a little weird. But 
The point is these safeties are coming right in to make the play. Whereas I'll put that in contrast with something like cover two, um, where your safeties are out of the run fit and instead it's just your corners. And if they run to the other side, it's just one corner. Uh, you'll see what that looks like as well from a run fit perspective. And as you can see, there is definitely an opportunity there for people to make a tackle. Um, but since the Cowboys are a very strong running team with a good O-line and, and, you know, Zeke at the center of it, it's going to be hard regardless. But just to show you, you'll see these safeties are not involved in the run fit. So their primary only job until they know for sure that the ball is in Zeke's hands is they're taking their drop. They're dropping to their zone. Both of them going away from the play and then they have to turn on the jets and come back to this play and as you can see with Quandre he's already getting blocked and he can't come down and make this play because Michael Gallup or Amari Cooper I think that's Gallup has already bumped his corner and moved on to the second level and this is how you're giving up big plays on these runs is your safeties, your middle safeties, aren't getting down into the play quick enough and they're getting picked up because they're worried about other stuff uh, while a late blocker comes up to get them. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit of why this can be even worse if you're playing uh, heavy man coverage or heavy blitzing. Uh, so we'll change some of the audibles here. We'll go from cover two to cover two man. We'll go from cover three to cover one hole. Uh, and we'll go strong safety linebacker blitz just to give you an example of you know some of the some of the plays that people can get baited into running um, when they're getting ran on a lot so I will just go with like a regular give me just a regular inside zone and I'll show you kind of the problem with playing a coverage like this against man is everybody that's manned up is not in the run fit the only people in the run fit are the guy that's responsible for the running back and the guy in that middle uh that middle three rack hook so you'll see when i switch to cover two it's the same deal anyone that's not in the box manned up are the only people in the run fit um no matter which way you run the play to these corners aren't part of it uh, the safeties aren't part of it. No one is helping in the run immediately other than these two linebackers. So if they break one off to the outside or these guys get picked up, uh, as you'll see, here, I'll just get on a lineman. Uh, Bobby Wagner is like a 99 overall, so he'll make that tackle and he'll be in the right spot because of his awareness. But as you can see, all of these guys are focused on their own assignments covering the safeties are dropping back these guys are all in man press so they're just getting blocked for free um, and this can be a very risky run defense because it can lead to a big play if you shoot the gap yourself uh, but it can also leave you really exposed to deep runs if your guys get picked up because they're not in a great run assignment you can see even if we switch to a lot of like an all-out blitz like a lot of people like playing against the run um, the run fit is even worse now because you have people that are going after the quarterback and they're not really concerned about where the run is developing to Jordan Brooks is manned up to the running back and he's the only one in the run fit so blitzing against the run is hyper risky because if you get someone like Bobby Wagner here I guess we'll just let it play out if you get someone like that shooting down and getting picked up then that run is usually gone depending on you know if you have 96 Jamal Adams here to get off his block somehow against an offensive tackle and just pop Zeke at the line normally you're not going to have that you're going to have these guys getting picked up and that's a touchdown like you can't tell me that that is not a free seven points for Zeke under like any other circumstance 
So that's just something to kind of worry about is if you plan on like blitzing a lot is if you're playing Bobby or you're playing, you know, a safety like like that maybe against the run. Uh, you can run this and if you shoot the gap like I just did, then great. Like you just stop that for a, a massive, you know, loss of momentum, loss of yards, whatever you want to call it. But if you miss or you get picked up, there's no one else in that run fit. So it's just something to think about. Uh, the final thing I want to talk about is a bit of a hybrid between the zone coverages. So something I like to run a lot is like some sort of cover six or cover nine because uh, the cool thing about inside quarters, you can see Quandre is like the deep safety, but he's playing an inside quarter, is no matter what, inside quarters will fit into your run fit regardless of like what the play is. So you can see in the run fit, like, he is there to shoot that gap immediately playing that inside corner. Um, so in, in pass plays, he'll play whatever his thing is, you know, from shotgun or whatever, he'll play his zone right away. But if it's play action or anything like that, um, the deep safety, Jamal in his deep half, this side will play exactly like a cover two plays, except now you have Jamal, or I'm um, sorry, Quandre involved in this run fit. And you can play coverage like this to mix it up. If someone's just dotting your, your cover four in, you can switch that cover two. You can flip it uh, to whatever side, you know, they keep throwing corner routes on or whatever it is. And you will, wherever that quarter is playing, that inside quarter, he will play the run. Uh, so I guess to summarize the whole point of the video in general, be, just be aware of the risk and reward for what you're trying to achieve right like if you need a loss of yards maybe an all-out blitz against the run is beneficial you know maybe the clock's getting low on you whatever you want to whatever you want to call it maybe it is beneficial to risk giving up a big play if you're gonna get a sack in the backfield because run fits won't necessarily let you do that that mostly has to come down to user skill uh, but if you're just worried about keeping a guy's yards per carry low uh, and you feel like it's a run first team, I strongly consider running something like a cover six, a cover nine, a cover four, especially if you want to do something like this, where you hit Y and then you hit left on the left stick to so show blitz and you bring these guys down. Uh, it gets even better if you want to pinch the D line. Obviously there's a bunch of run defending stuff you can do, but if you're just trying to limit yardage, you can see <laughs> Jamal actually on the off that show blitz. There's too many of our guys in the box and he just comes flying in here gets off his block and ends that for a no yard gain um, just be careful about how many guys you're sending at the quarterback and just because they have the red thing doesn't mean they're necessarily gonna go straight for the ball uh, a lot of the time your blitzers like if we're trying to defend the run with something like this You'll see a lot of these guys just go straight for the, on the handoff, they go straight for the quarterback and tackle the quarterback and the, the runner will just go running off. That's because they're not in a run fit at all. They're, uh, as you can see here, they're all, if they're blitzing, they're tagging the quarterback, they're not in the run fit. So they don't care at all what the running back is doing unless the running back is like two steps into his run with the ball in his hand. 